In the fall and winter months, there's something so cozy about good smelling candles burning throughout the house. But how do you make them last? And more importantly, how do you make sure you're using them safely? Tanya Fellhofer from Candleworks of Door County joins us this morning. Thank you so much for making the drive. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And thank you for making our studio smell so wonderful this <laughs> it does, year. It does, doesn't it? Uh, before we get into uh, you know making the candles last longer and safety mm -hmm. tips, uh, can you talk about some of the great fall and winter scents that yes, you have? Yes, absolutely. Um, this is the time of the year when people start to close into their homes and they want to be cozy and the days are shorter. Um, so people really enjoy having um, their their environment around them being cozy and warm. Some of the great fragrances that um, that we enjoy in our house during this time of the year, um, we have with us this morning, we have a sugar cookie, mm -hmm. we have bayberry. One of my absolute favorites is Door County Coffee, named for our neighbors, the Door County Coffee Company. Um, we have Christmas Spirit, which is a huge seller. People come in all year round looking for that scent, but especially at this time of the year, we're, I feel like we're making it every time we turn around. Um, and all of our candles are made right in the store. So when people come in, they, they really get um, a feel of the product, of the people that are making it. It's made right in Door County in the store. This Bayberry one, uh, I can smell really, mm -hmm. really nicely. And uh, it smells kind of like Christmas tree almost? Almost, yep. Yeah. It's, it's very much a, um, a scent that's very popular out east um, and and Mike lived out east for a while and he it reminds him of um, some special times out east so we thought we would bring it to the Midwest. Let's talk about um, first how can people uh, make their candles last longer when they're burning them throughout the season. One of the biggest things um, that we try to remind our customers to do is to continue to trim the wick. You never want your um, flame more than an inch tall. So we generally recommend the very first time that you light the candle, get a good um, burn on that candle and then tr extinguish it, trim the wick so that that flame is never more than an inch. And I always, each time that I burn my candles, the um, after I have done the initial burn, I always start by trimming the wick and it gives it a nice clean burn. It will last longer. You'll enjoy it more. It won't be dirty and messy. Yeah, that, that's a really good mm -hmm. tip. I actually never heard that one before. Um, you know, a big thing with candles and, you know, I'm sure especially if, if firefighters are watching this mm -hmm. morning is you really got to be careful. You and do. What are some of, I guess, the, the more common mistakes people make or what should we be thinking about? Well, a couple of things that, um, that we always practice in our home and, and um, talk about with our children, we certainly don't want it by an open window where um, the flame can be blowing around two reasons safety is one but also when you have a flickering flame and it's blowing around um, you're gonna get a, a dirtier burning candle and nobody really wants that and an uneven burning candle um, obviously keep it away from um, uh, curtains or any type of uh, a material. One of the things that I enjoy, um, on this candle we have a candle capper and that does help um, protect the flame from breezes and that type of thing. It gives the candle a nice even burn, but it also keeps other things from getting into the candle, mm. which can be very helpful. And the other thing too is never leave a candle unattended. Yeah, I think that's the most common, most you know, common important sense one, but it yep. needs to be, you need to remind people. People forget. People. People forget. Um, and I think the other thing, um, one of the things that I like about our candles is that they are in a jar. Um, they are, you know, once, the, for example, once this flame gets down, it's in a very well protected area. Um, the other thing that I that I always remind people when they're burning jar candles, make sure that when you get to that bottom, um, you know, half inch, it is time to throw it away and get a new one. Don't try to burn it all the way down to the glass because that glass will get hot, it will break. You might not have a fire, but you are gonna have one heck of a mess and you do not wanna be cleaning up uh, wax off of the Yeah, that's a good thought there. Tanya, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning you. and a good day, Wisconsin. We'll be right back. It smells